Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for August 26th of 2024 is titled Perseid Meteors Over Inner Mongolia. So what do we see here? Well, today we have a video clip showing the Perseid meteors. So we're going to look at the Perseid meteor shower from uh, this past year, 2023. So as we go ahead and look at the video, let's play that and watch. And what you'll see is a number of videos. You can see the observers there down in the foreground and looking up at the sky you can see the stars and you can see each of these clips will show a different Perseid meteor as it streaks across the sky. Now the meteors are actually tiny bits of material small grains of sand pebbles very tiny objects that strike Earth's atmosphere and are vaporized and that's what we're seeing as they as they glow in the sky. These are not large objects that will ever make it down to the surface of Earth so they completely vaporize in Earth's upper atmosphere. And as we see each of these, they'll start as a slow streak and then they'll kind of burst out and then fade out again. And that's as they start to burn up and they reach their maximum and then as they become uh, faded out as they've used up all of their material. Now the Perseid meteors are associated with a comet. So they are the debris left behind by a comet. And when that comet comes into the inner solar system, it leaves debris behind. And that debris continues to follow along the same orbit. And then eventually, if the Earth crosses that orbit, as it does in the case of this comet, then we will get to see the meteors. So we have several meteor showers that occur each year. The Perseids in August are one of the best because they they're a relatively good amount of meteors and a relatively bright shower because of how we pass through the stream of material left behind by that comet. However, there are others. And in fact, coming up in December, we have the Geminids, which is another nice meteor shower that we can see that will also give a, a good number of meteors. Usually the difference for those, at least for those in the northern hemisphere, the difference is that the Perseids occur in August for summertime when it's a lot warmer and easier to sit out and look at for the meteors, whereas those that occur in December and January, it tends to be a lot colder at night. Now the other good thing for the Geminids coming up in December is that they will have a very close to new moon. So meaning that we will not have a moon in the sky to really brighten the sky and allow many more meteors to be seen. For the Perseids this year, if you got a chance to see any of them, uh, we did have a first quarter moon, but by the time that set a little after midnight, then you were able to see a larger number of meteors because you had the brightness of the moon removed from the sky. So the sky was a little bit darker and able to see more of the meteors. You'll also note in a number of these images, you can see the Milky Way, our galaxy, as we see it from within, as well as a number of different star clusters uh, within the images as well, as well as watching the reactions of the people uh, observing the meteors every time a new meteor occur occurs. So that was our picture of the day for August 26th of 2024. It was titled Perseid Meteors Over Inner Mongolia. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.